Are we live? Are we good? Fourth YouTube stream? Um... <laughs> still figuring out how, how things work? Hopefully we're good. Oh yes, welcome back everyone! Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Thursday! Um, we are playing some more Valhalla today. Um, we're gonna do another day of Valhalla. I forgot which day we're on. I think we're on day... 8? I believe. I do not remember. I forgot how many days are in this game. I think it's like 16 or something. Did you get groceries? I did not. <laughs> I did not. Um, I have a good reason. I, I have a good reason. Okay. I have, I have a, I have an explanation for why I didn't get groceries. So I said I was going to go get groceries. I know I did. Um, but by the time I finished showering, it was already 2.30. And I need to pack some packages for Moogie Mart to go drop them off at the post office, which is actually near where I get groceries. I was like, you know, I might as well just do it in one trip. So I think for tomorrow, I'm going to go to the gym and go drop off packages and then go get groceries. I'm going to do all of the above. Um, today, I did a lot of Moogie Mart stuff, a lot of just prep work for the next drops that I have going on, have going on planned. Um, also did a lot of prep work for uh, taxes. <laughs> I finished quarter three of my finance documentation. I really should have documented it as the months were going by, but you know, <laughs> mistakes were made and now I have to do it all at the end of the tax season. So yeah, I finished quarter three of my um, transaction documentation. So we're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, go for Rocket, Lation, Idol, Dragoner, welcome in, Manu, P uh, Panda King, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, Maldoran, hello, Gray, hello, Iggy, hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing well, welcome in. Yes, I still have quarter four left. Um, but quarter four shouldn't be too bad. Um, because I think I started separating my transactions in quarter four. So everything before quarter three, they were like, all my transactions were everywhere. Like some of them were on like, I, I only had one credit card, you know, like I just put transactions where the fuck I wanted. Sometimes I use PayPal, sometimes I use my, you know, credit card, sometimes I use my debit card. And it was just like, it was kind of all over the place. I think around quarter four is when I started, I got a new card. Uh, I got a, I got a business card. And I was like, okay, now I have business credit card. I have um, my personal credit card. I have a credit card for travel. Like stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so now, now it should be a bit easier. Um, being self-employed, living on the U.S. suddenly doesn't seem so nice. It's not terrible. Um, I got a CPA, so I think it should be all right. Fingers crossed. I hope. I hope he's not like you fucked up your finances. You have to redo everything. So you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things go all right. I have one credit card I use for everything. Wow. Aren't you a fucking... Fucking lucky ass man. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I need to separate my finances or else I am going to get audited. It just makes things... It just. Ma I mean, I can have one credit card for everything too. But this just makes things easier to report during tax season. Because everything's already separated. So next year should be a lot easier to do because I started separating all my finances this, this the beginning of this year. So taxes for the end of this year should be easier to do than the last year. But, you know, it's, it's a learning experience. <laughs> all right, we're going to get into Valhalla. Oh, we're on day nine. Oh, shit. Those beer stash is running out. Okay, we need to go get some beer. Get some beer. Beer on discount? Holy shit, why is it a thousand dollars? That's not dirt cheap. Bruh. Hopefully that's a, like a casket of gear and not just one. That's so expensive. I mean, 
God damn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> also, why are there... Oh, there's a Kuda Miki banner and a Kuda Miki poster. It's different. Like, why is there two of the same thing? Alright. I... <laughs> I guess. We'll get the pricey ass beer. Okay, cool. Let's see what the news has to offer us. Let's see. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. This is very similar to, I feel like... <laughs> What's happening in the real world right now? Thank you, I appreciate it, Earl. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hey, yo, Ifity, what's up? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> the latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legitimate sport. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. <laughs> and because of that, you're castrated. <laughs> you can't like soccer. Go with the status quo. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I don't want to live in a future where fried chicken is rare. God damn. I know it sounds a little bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste the chicken's breasts, like the one that Kenta makes, you just can't go back. Why did he have to say it like that? <laughs> Imagine watching 90 minutes of something and not a single kill is scored. It sounds like League of Legends. I'm kidding. It's not that bad. Kind of. It's kind of that bad. <laughs> In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he said later, It was just in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in the city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Sounds like he's gonna ban it. Alright, Monster Girlfriend Chidari becomes the best-selling video game- Oh, it's a video game. Okay, I thought this was an actual person. Of all time. The waifu revolution from 2010 is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise that the known popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Well, is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. I hope the waifu age doesn't become real. Although, I'm not gonna lie. I can see that happening in the near future. I feel like it's already kind of ha Have you guys ever gotten those, um, those advertisements? What was- I, I don't know what app it's for, but they're like, Oh, this AI sends you hot pictures and texts you steamy things. Like, what is that? What am I- what, what am I looking at? Like, what is this? Well, apparently there's this app that you can get where it's like a virtual best friend kind of thing. And apparently they can send you like, like steamy, steamy things, you know? There's a guy married to Hatsune. Okay, that's different though. Hatsune Miku is like a concept, you know what I mean? Like, she- like, like, like he's married to the concept of Hatsune Miku. Like, he doesn't own Hatsune Miku, you know? Like, the thing that's being advertised uh, nowadays is like, oh, you have this AI that's like specifically catered to your interests and like your desires and whatnot. And they'll like, you know, send you stuff based on that. It's crazy, dude. I don't know. Maybe we'll play it on stream. We should we should check it out on stream. I feel like that'd be fun. I don't know if it's allowed on Steam. I mean, on, on Steam, on, uh, on Twitch. But <laughs> if it is, <laughs> I want to see what it's like. <laughs> Alright, and I think that's, um... Yeah, this is... This is... We've, 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 uh, we've read this already. What is this? 
What, what is this? Customize... Oh, right, this is just the, um... The thing that we spent way too much money on for the shitty wallpaper. Alright, uh, well, I think that's everything. Then let's just go to work, then. What is this? Oh, danger you! We didn't even... Oh, shit. We haven't been reading this. AM Township 64. Hype, literally no gains. Anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukebon game? IDK, all I see is pretty girls with nothing to look back up. Any info on hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. <laughs> I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash of late. Yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care? Me neither. Nano cam underwear. I think I'll get a pair, just to see what kind of skin I can use them with. The nickel and dime the DLC, there's no way to use the skin you want. And I cracked one day, maybe I don't think that'll be fast. I think da 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 da. I thought nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just the meme. My walls are made of that thing, I'm all right. Are the walls hacked? I'm going to marry Camel Tan! Who the fuck is that? Now we have underwear that can change its looks, dude. Don't you love the future? I would if they weren't such a, ba a bunch of assholes at business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Okay, god. Oh, this is the Apollo Bank getting attacked thread. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. Attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? These were, those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Damn. That sucks. The file is apparently... Uh, the file is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from Glitch City Government and White Knight Operations. Seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go to work. Good evening. Ah, Jill! Good timing! Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until some time later. Anyways, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with a thousand grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Um, sure. Why not? All right. Invite any client you've acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring a cut today. The raid stopped. They found whoever or whatever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Zoltan, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Oh, the Colonel Sanders dating sim? I, I thought about it. Maybe we'll play that for Valentine's Day if the Sucker for Love Part 2 doesn't come out. Welcome to the hot. Um. Um. I want a fluffy dream. Oh, this is a child. Oh. Um, may I see your ID, please? I. I don't have an ID because. Um. I'm. The ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have the money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? I, y yes, I, I have money. <laughs> Are we gonna really serve alcohol to a minor? I mean, yeah, we're not going to give her any alcohol. We'll just give her the uh, base drink without anything in it. He's a minor! That's a child! Um, aged... And... 
Next. Here you go. Wow, well, well, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, miss? Ghost of Mega Christmas Past. Stalk? Oh, oh right. I, I'm a, I'm a ghost. Um, uh, th that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas skill? Jill, please. It would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of idea. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh, um... So, if you would please leave... I, I I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. <sighs> Alright. Let's start from the beginning, Miss... Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. Uh, you're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Um... Um... Y you seem like you're in bad mood, Miss Bartender. Aw, oh, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been... heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? Why do you care? I can do whatever I want! Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I just... I, I just... wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's never good enough. It's not good enough just to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. But I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came home selling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. I'm not good enough for her. I might as well just kill any hope she has in me. You remind me of this client I had a while ago. She, um... She passed out in the street and my boss brought her here. Her attitude reminds me of how she once got drunk. Yeah, bitter about the pressure exerted on her. Hers was workplace pressure, but you still remind me a lot of her. So what of it? So, before you think anything else, calm down. I don't want you to go through what she went through. I, I, I'm calm. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're going to disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like... Become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I... I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there then? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl! 
<laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> GNJ, how are you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a... Oh, sorry. Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir! Roll. Sir, yes, sir! Paw. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Training. Um, of course. He's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit! Hey, not in my office! In the end, he's just a dog, I suppose. Ooh, who the fuck is this? Ooh, who are you? Yes. <laughs> Bathroom. Oh, sorry. It's only for clients. Ah! Oh. <laughs> his, his expression. <laughs> oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. But, uh, who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just the motorcycle. They're the forerunners then. Those are horsemen and it already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh, oh no, you, you don't have to. Sorry if you look like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get you? Uh... uh um... A p piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast. Uh... Sure? Oh, is he... Oh, is he shy? Because he liked the fruity drink? It's... Piano Woman's like a sweet drink, right? Yeah. Is he shy because he likes a sweet drink? Yeah, he is! Oh my god! Oh, poor baby! Nah, he's getting a Piano Woman. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You, li you like your fruity drinks, man. You order those fruity drinks and be proud of it. Actually, I, you know, I didn't realize that a lot of guys got teased for liking fruity drinks until recently. Um, I have this one friend who I'm, I got to reconnect with uh, over the high school reunion I went to. And he was like really nervous about ordering a, um, what was it called? A Moscow Mule? He was really, really nervous about ordering a Moscow Mule. And I was like, just order it. What's wrong? You know, it's like... Everyone else is getting a beer, and I'm like, so it doesn't fucking matter. Just, just get the Moscow Mule. <laughs> like, it's not, a, it's not a big deal. But like, apparently, he had been bullied for a lot in college, so he just usually gets a beer, even though he doesn't really like it. I'm like, just get the Moscow Mule. I ended up getting the Moscow Mule for him, just giving it to him. But I, it just sucks, man. It sucks. It's like it, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a stigma. That's correct, right? Yeah. Age and mix. <clears throat> Here. You look happy. Shut up. Oh, uh, wow. Excuse? <laughs> no, fuck you. I should have given you the Mars Blast. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, 
Is that a motorcycle? Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside for too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving a trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and my only. I am... Hey, guys. I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? I'll be back for before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was kind of cute. Uh, um, not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm in into girls either. Yeah, yeah, fuck girls. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just... Uh, Oh, God. <laughs> He's trying so hard. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like a mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know what it's like at the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Sabre Station's antenna's a good reference. Uh, I mean, uh, wh wh what do I care? Fix that yourself, b bitch. <laughs> He's trying so hard. <laughs> oh my god, this poor guy. Who hurt you, dude? I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Uh, gut punch! Uh, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want, man. Let's see, can we do a... large one? Yeah, we can. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. On the rocks and blended. Here. <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. Oh! <laughs> I fucking love this face, dude. This, this particular expression is just really good. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I... N no, never mind. <laughs> Say, Mario, um, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It... it isn't working? Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked... cute. C cute so why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we apply that to the brand of logic here, I would be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I, I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress like a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but the other bikers... That sounds like something that someone in high school would say. Ugh! <laughs> 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 My 
my whole world is being turned upside down. Ah! <laughs> so funny. <sighs> it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. Isn't a fringe weaver like a really alcoholic one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Alright, aged and mix. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Oh? Ow? Oh? oh, is this possible? Gay. 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 Gay? Homosexuality? He's a little bit fruity. Oh, I see. Okay. Is he seeing anyone? Not as far as I know. Do you think he... He... No, never mind. I, I said nothing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Please come again. Ah, uh, Jill, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Eh, uh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Jill. Okay, careful. Ah, uh, Jill, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Ah, uh, that's good, dude. That's good. Alright, let's go. Let's go back. Did we save? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, thank you, Christian. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Not gonna lie. These type of Let's Plays, like... The type that I'm doing right now, they used to be my favorite. Um, like whenever I would watch creators online, like people who would voice out the lines and stuff like this and like really get into character. This is like my favorite thing to watch. I loved watching creators who did this stuff. It's pretty cool that I'm, you know, doing the same thing now. <laughs> uh, who the fuck is Billy? Oh, maybe a homeless guy? Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. <clears throat> All right, back to business. Back! Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Chiba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyways, I'm back to my office. You stay here. She's back. She's back. Oh, okay. I don't think Dorothy's my favorite character, but she is just a really fun character. She's just fun to be around. <laughs> I can't wait to see what kind of out-of-pocket shit she says today. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see... Ah, dog! Stop, little girl. What are you doing in a bar? Um, some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Well, you're really bad with dogs, eh? D did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that transit at random. Oh, that fucking transit? I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs 
are created, they're given fears or taste completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods! Uh, what will you have today, Dorothy? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding chain. Coming right... Um... Up. Bleeding Jane for Dorothy in honor of her time of the month. Ah? <laughs> uh? <laughs> hey, yo, Mio, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Have you guys seen that one skit? I forgot which comedian it was by. It was the one where he was like, he was like, my daughter wants to throw a period party. And he was, she was like, Dad, I'm going to invite four girls and two boys. And the dad was like, why do you want to invite two boys to a period party? And then the girl was like, That's the best part. We don't tell him that it's a period party. <laughs> Wait, have you guys seen that skit? It's so funny. Hold on, let me, let me pull it up. Um, it's so good. Period party skit. Period party skit. Yeah, where's the, like the short version? Oh, here we go. Why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Phone rings. It's a school nurse. She goes, I have Isla in the office. Is there a parent at home? I was like, I'll do. Hold on. Gives the phone to Isla. Her first words, I tried to stop it, Dad. <laughs> I go, stop what? She goes, I got my period. I'm like, bitch, you promised. <laughs> I'm like, you called the wrong number, dickhead. Call your mom. She's like, Dad, I need you right now. She's going this. I go, okay, baby. All right. Okay. She was like, oh, poor kid. Boy. Blew out my cooch, coach. I'm oh, fine. Mom gave me a... I'm trying to find the specific... Oh, here it is. Here it is. We have 10 little girls okay, coming to the it, house. Go. She goes, no, eight girls, two boys. I'm like, who invites boys to a period party? <laughs> and I hear her sinister little giggle on the phone. And she goes, dad, that's the fun of it. We don't tell them why they're there. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm in. I have never had more fun at a party in my entire life. Planning, hosting, and attending a period party. I dressed all in red like it was Chinese New Year's. Drinking Pinot Noir, I made pasta with chunky marinara sauce. And I giggled the whole night with all these little girls at these two boys, Max and Carter, right? Faces covered in red cake. <laughs> the whole party, these two boys are looking at the cake going, who the hell's Jason? My daughter, Isla Kreischer, named her period Jason because she got it on Friday the 13th. We have it's 10 little It's so girls. good, dude. It's so good. I forgot. I, which, which comedian is this again? I forgot his name. Uh, uh, Bert Kreischer, this guy. Yeah, no, the great fucking skit, dude. I love this. It's so funny. <laughs> I turn this back on. Ooh. All right, back to the game. Back to the game. I just wanted a little interlude there because it reminded me of it. All right, let's get Dorothy a bleeding, bleeding Jane for her period. All right, blended. Blended. I wish I had a period party, man. Never got myself a period party. I want to have one. That sounds fun. Here. That time of the month. Do Lilla menstruate? Yes, oil. 
No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but these are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? A time where I feel like drinking and bleeding Jane! Uh-huh. So, how's business? <laughs> Axeman, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Also, Cal, welcome to the stream. Moogie, welcome to the stream as well. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. You'll be surprised by how many people get stuck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although, it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilum. Half of my got a sexy Santa dress and that's not fair. They were sold out! I wanted one too! But maybe it's better that way. How so? There are other girls that like to dress in skimpy clothes and show a lot of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is just to dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some either let me to dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh. I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you only serve Lulum? Oh, sorry. Do you only serve humans or do you serve Lulum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Humans from the neck up, dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict, though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy, a big one, would you? Alright. A blue fairy? Alright. Big one. Give her lots of alcohol. Can she get drunk? I can't remember if she can get drunk or not. Do this. Just fill the rest up with alcohol. Alright. Um, aged and mixed. Here you go. I wonder if anyone's seen fairies after the couple of these. Some guy tested uh, that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and he had seen was his puke. And what he had seen was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage. Here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's a mega Santa prank. Uh, the what? Huh? It's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick them all and wait for a day with a lot of people. Then, I go to Santa's lap and when he asks me what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Sometimes I try to cover it up. The little one wants to be a human. And then that's when I say, no, I want you. After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very, very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. What a fucking menace, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Very bumpy cucumber. Give me one second. I'm gonna get some water. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Although, I did pick a client that way. He became a regular soon after. 
Hunter. Huh. But uh, yeah, three years and I still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want! Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. I'm 27. No fair! You didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's assigned to look between 10 to 13 years old. And my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep along with me. Fair enough. I expect you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? Without dangers, everything's been lately. Every year as you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a share with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. You want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I tried one of those. All right. Are there multiple endings to this game? I don't know. I don't know anything about the ending of this game. I only... I've been told to play it, and I'm playing it. And that's it. <laughs> Alright, Cobalt Velvet. There we go. On the rocks, and mix. Cobalt Velvet? Yep, this is the one! Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. <laughs> hey, honey! Have you ever seen a Mega Santa gang thing? Uh, a Mega... Uh? That Mega Santa that became a regular of mine. He was invited like eight of his friends. Gamings are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. And they think about using you, too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, I should have thought about that before getting naked in front of each other. Eight guys in the end and only two got into it while the others left. Even my regular left. Uh... I'll regret asking this, but... Were all the other guys... Yep, they were all Mega Santas that worked with them. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still can't get the charm of gangbangs. Or as I can see, though. Well, I remember you that got me turned on, my uncle is kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Bourbon, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. That girl has seen some shit. Now I can't see Mega Santos with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her that you missed her yesterday? Forget about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. Oh, who's this? Huh? Another kid? Maybe the, go the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh, God. Maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day, I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transition transmission hack thing. And at some point, she talked about hacking, becoming a fad and stuff. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today, there have been two kids already. Uh, how would ball tedding be a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol, though. True. Um, excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um, girl, she's staring too much and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside for alcohol, but alcohol's everywhere anyways. So, what do you suggest? 
let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Um. Jill. Bah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? But, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. All mixed. Here. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forgot. Forget, forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients in your side? Oh, right. Yeah. There's a bottle of Karma Trend that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Uh... Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Um... Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, though. No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um. <laughs> um. Hey, Jill. <laughs> Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. Um, what did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I need to take them out. Oh, um, let's see. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once and the old lady started it. Right. Why does an arcade still use old coins anyways? Or physical money when you can get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist, nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Uh, 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 yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but, um... Sorry. Really? You can't even remember your own sister's... Oh? Oh? I did not expect that! Sisters? Um, sorry, but I don't have any sis... Sure? Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right so you know her yeah she's actually my girlfriend i mean my um ex's sister um so how have you been doing i actually had to transfer schools and i managed to skip a grade thanks to the mission tests i'll be out of middle school next year you've always been a smart one so it's no surprise have you thought about what you want to study in college you always said you wanted to be a scientist i don't know yet I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need to... What? Maybe you'll need to... S s what? A what? Sa... Sab... Sabbatical? 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 Sabbatical. Sabbatical. 
sabbatical? Sa I don't know. That word. Year? <laughs> uh, so how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Um, her sister. She, uh, was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with someone that's not a cat? Come on, me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. Ahem. So how's Lenore doing? Oh. Um. Fuck. She's dead. S sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow! My sister was left to suffer her own disease alone while you were all merry here mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenora was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about her chest pains not not blah, blah, blah. She started complaining about her chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? I did I inflict her with the disease that killed her? No, but. It's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after you fought, after you fought. It's no surprise that that fight played a key role in killing her. That's just speculation you can't expect. And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that animation rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've ever heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was easy for me? I was scared. I was still scared. I need to grab a hold of my life. It has nothing to do with your sister. I, I, I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Ah! <laughs> me too, man. I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill. You want to grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I, I'm, I'm fine, just... I, I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill. You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's... It's not. I'm here, Jill. I'm here. It's just... It, it's just... I feel like a part of me is crumbling right now. I, my old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, but I lashed at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? 
If anything weird, if any weird thoughts come to you or you feel too anxious, call me. Y yeah. A four. She's in your care. You hear? Meow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check up on you, nonetheless. Okay? Oh fuck! God damn! That ended so fucking heavy. Oh my god. God damn, dude. <laughs> that was heavy as hell. Oof. Oh. Uh, Crook, welcome to the stream. We're actually ending. We are actually ending. Also, Mitten Spot, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're actually ending. Uh, we're doing a day per stream. Although I really want to know what happens next. <laughs> uh, but no, no, I do have to end. Um, I do have to end. As much as I want to know what happens. If we do another day, I feel like it's gonna go past the two hour mark. So we will stop here for today. Um, We will continue next week. God damn, the end is so heavy. Oh, oh, good lord. But yeah, um, we will end here for today. And we will continue this next week at 8 p.m. EST, Thursday, as always. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoyed Valhalla. We will continue with this next week and hopefully find out more as to Jill's backstory. And what this whole nano machine rejection disease thing was. Oh, okay. God damn. Well. Thank you for coming today, guys. Thank you for attending the stream. Hope you guys had a good time. I will catch you guys tomorrow on Migi Mail. Uh, we'll be streaming on Twitch on the Migi Mail podcast channel. Tomorrow's topic topic of... um, Sorry. Oh, God. Tomorrow's topic of conversation is going to be about parasocial relationships. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys later. If you don't see me on the podcast, I will see you on Saturday for our Just Chatting slash React Andy streams. But yeah, Saturday at 8 p.m. EST if I don't see you on Friday. And that is it for me. All right, boys. I will see you when I see you. Thank you for coming in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Take care, be well, be kind to each other's. Make sure to sub, hit that like button, comment below, hit that uh, subscribe button as well. Um, I don't know what else to do. Uh, go watch my videos, go watch my new cover, do whatever the fuck helps the YouTube algorithm. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know how to work this shit. Ring that bell, turn on notifications, eat my fucking ass. All right, bye. Take care, guys. Otsumugi, bye-bye.